What's going on, Uber Nation? Happy Wednesday. It's a Legends Wednesday. Totally unexpected. Uh, NBA Life Mobile released two Legends today. And they are playoff-themed Legends. Allen Houston and my boy, Detlef Schrempf. Uh, I'm going to show my age a little bit here. But uh, Detlef Schrempf was the guy... Everybody in Germany, every German kid who played basketball was idolizing back in the day. He was the first German national in the NBA and he was actually a really, really good player. So uh, for those of you who are youngsters may not uh, remember Detlef Schrempf. He also played for the Seattle Sonics. He played for my Blazers for a little while as well. Uh, but yeah, Detlef Schrempf uh, was a beast in Germany. And I'm pretty sure Dirk Nowitzki was, in, uh, was also uh, inspired by Detlef Schrempf because Dirk and I are about the same age and back in the day it was all Detlef Schrempf. We really followed his career closely. Anyways, that's enough rambling. Let's get into the stats here. You're looking at my two-way lineup and you're looking at a legend two-way lineup with the brand new cards here. So let's see how he compares to LeBron, 95 overall. Uh, this is the Winter Ghost of Christmas Legend, I think, is, or the Ghost of Christmas LeBron James, I think it's called. And he doesn't compare very good, to be honest with you, from the stats that we can see. The six stats that we can see, um, you know, only three-pointer is even. Everywhere else, he kind of falls short. So, I am not sure what the hidden stats look like. I haven't seen that yet at all, but um, he doesn't quite stack up to LeBron's... Uh, statue obviously he wouldn't even in real life right I mean he was a great player but not a uh, not 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 a LeBron type of uh, player now let's look at Allen Houston compared to Ray Allen of course Ray Allen's a pure shooter he's gonna get the three-point uh, over Allen Houston but I'm surprised speed and dribbling is also better for Ray Allen and the passing is much better I mean I get that as well Ray Allen's a pretty good passer but um Allen Houston's got him in the shooting and defensive categories, but once again, probably not enough to upgrade. Nonetheless, guys, we're gonna try to pull Detlef Schrempf in a pack because he's the he's the one card you can pull. And then Allen Houston is the set legend, so we're obviously gonna try to get some uh, collectibles. Now, if you go to the store, um, we still have the Team of the Week bundles in the store right now. Obviously, there are still uh, pl uh, playoff packs, playoff pro packs. Um, what is going to be the pack that gives us the highest chance of pulling that Detlef Shrimp? That's the question. Uh, and honestly, in all, in all honesty, I think it's the Pro Pack. The original Pro Pack, the OG. Uh, the pack that we used to rip on the daily. So let's get into it. Let's see if we can rip it. Um, you know, from looking at what you're, gonna, what you're guaranteed in any of these packs, I think the Pro Pack is the cheapest and probably the, still the best option uh, to pull a legend right now. I was I was hoping for legendary bundles today I would have obviously ripped those but for now We're gonna do pro packs until either our item limit is full or we run out of coins Which is gonna be a while. It's gonna be a while. We might mix it up. We might throw a playoff pro pack in there uh, From time to time, but we're gonna try to rip them It's got kind of like an old-school kind of a throwback here to when I was recording my videos in the car Shout out to the, those who remember those days. I know we've gotten a lot of new subs lately who probably don't ever uh, remember me uh, pulling, uh, doing pack openings every single morning in my car. Uh, it was actually pretty fun. I might bring that back. I might, I might do that from time to time. I have a new car now, so I should give you guys a tour of my new car and then uh, rip some packs maybe. We'll, we'll see what we can do. Definitely going to see. Let's talk about the Celtics game, by the way. What do you guys think about the Celtics, man? I tell you what, they're in a tough spot, man. They're in a tough spot. Um, you know, Isaiah Thomas lost his sister tragically in a car accident the night, the day before the game, right? The day before game one of the first round. Um, it's just that's just such a shame, man. I mean, that you know what I mean. So for him to even be thinking about basketball, I, I can't even fathom. You know what I mean? But. Um, did it he played the first game he was really emotional and there's two ways the team can go on that you know what I mean the team can rise up in that kind of uh, emotional hardship and they can rise up for his teammate uh, now the thing is he's the team leader you know what I mean so seeing him uh, really be affected by this obviously as anybody would be uh, I think took a toll on, on the whole team and they kind of you know they kind of uh, didn't have the juice to win the first game and here's the other deal, guys. They couldn't 
the, the Celtics couldn't be playing a worse team for something like that. I honestly believe if the Celtics were playing uh, the Milwaukee Bucks, if the Celtics were playing the Pacers, if the Celtics, even if the Celtics were playing the Raptors, who are a pretty high seed as well, even, let's say just hypothetically, the Raptors were an 8th seed, I still think the Celtics could uh, could pull it out and win because the Raptors themselves have underperformed in the first round of the playoffs. Home games, they have real issues with. Uh, the problem is the Chicago Bulls have a couple of players on their team who have won championships who've been, who've been around forever. Uh, we got a Tony Parker impact and a Kyle Korver throwback there. Nice. Uh, they got a couple of players who have won championships, who've, who've been in the long, you know, in the long haul in the playoffs, and they just pounced on that. They pounced on the weakness of the Celtics. There's a little article on ESPN right now as well talking about that. And man, that, that's just such a shame. I hope they bounce back. I really hope they bounce back. I mean, it's not over. Everybody's talking like it's over. It's not. You know what I mean? If Chicago can win uh, two in Boston, Boston can win two in Chicago. I mean, you you just don't know. It's basketball on any given day, right? Anyways, that's kind of my thoughts on the Celtics Heat series. Uh, Celtics Heat, Celtics Bulls. Every time I think about D, D Wade, I still think Heat, man. And if you Google D Wade, the only images that come up is him in a Heat uniform. It's funny because I was trying to find a thumbnail image the other day, and everything was Heat. Oh, there we go, Chris Paul, CP3, and we actually get a playoff storyline collectible from the Bulls. Look at that. What do you know, Ray John Rondo? who has been there with the Celtics, who's won a title with the Celtics. Uh, it's kind of interesting to see him go up against his team, and I think he himself said that he could uh, he could see they gave up or something like that. Anyways, we haven't gotten any any luck yet. And I looked in the auction house as well this morning just, just to uh, check. Um, oddly enough, there's a bunch of Allen Houstons in the auction house. There aren't any Detlef Schrempf cards though, so I feel like nobody's pulled Detlef Schrempf yet and if somebody did, they just, they're just they using them on their team, they're not selling them. So I don't know, at the time of this upload, it may have changed, but no Detlef Schrempf cards yet. Can we be the first one to pull Detlef? I feel like as a German native, uh, we should get some extra odds packed in there, you know what I mean? Get some extra odds. Oh, Clay Thompson, that's pretty decent. 84 overall defensive lineup, Clay Thompson. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. And for those of you who are baseball fans, guys, by the way, I'll be streaming tonight once again, 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Oops. East Playoff Pro Pack. Yeah, man, let's do it. These are probably the better packs to buy as uh, for the program that's going on right now. But for sheer odds of pulling uh, the legend Deathless, uh, Pro Pack's probably better. <coughs> Actually, Pro Pack's about the same odds. Because you do get a gold, a regular gold guaranteed in both of these packs. However, the playoff pro packs are 30k and the regular pro packs are only 7,500. So we can definitely rip a lot more pro packs than we can all star pro packs. And by the way, a new pack wars is coming. I kind of teased it yesterday. It is coming. I'm going to try to record it today. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, maybe drop it tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, so this is gonna be fun. I, I can't wait. I know you guys enjoyed the Pack Wars series So I'm gonna bring you guys a new Pack Wars The packs have to align perfectly for us to do the Pack Wars. Hey, let's go, baby Steph Curry, why are we pulling all these Warriors on Blazer game day? Come on now This is a this this might be a bad sign, but I'm not gonna hate on it Steph Curry 89 overall now This is the third time ever pulling him uh, we hadn't pulled him in a long time. There he is. And we got Luke Babbitt next to him. That just, that looks so nice. So nice. So we pull a Steph Curry. So it's pretty good pack opening, guys. So far we got CP3, Steph Curry, and Klay Thompson, his teammate. No Blazer love other than a former Blazer in Luke Babbitt. Ugh. We may have pulled a Blazer along the way. I'm going to try to go a little bit faster, but it's tough because I got to scroll to the left every time. To the left, to the left. There's my other German brother. Oh, East Playoff Pro Pack accidentally triggered again. Activated. Bam. Patrick Patterson. Shaquille O'Neal shooting guard card. What the deuce were they thinking when they made that card? <laughs> they should do out of position cards, though. I always like the out of position cards on Madden, on Mutt. Uh, they're pretty dope. They should do some real ones, like some real uh, elite 
out of position cards, I think. Would be kind of dope, you know what I mean? Like, LeBron can pretty much play all five positions, so you can make him a point guard card, whatever. Shooting guard card, I don't know. Uh, and then other guys, too. Boogie Cousins. Give Boogie Cousins like a point guard card, because he's a supreme passer. Let's go, Kawhi Leonard. Wow, we're getting all the elite uh, players here. We're getting all the, uh, ooh, getting a text message as well. Bam. Slide that out of the way. All right, we're ripping pro packs here, guys. This is old school. I hope you guys enjoy this. I sure am having fun. I know some people say you ramble too much, you talk too much, but honestly, that's what I like to do. I like to talk to you guys. I like to read the comments, see what you guys think. And if I just stop talking and only rip packs, I'm not gonna have fun doing these videos anymore. And when I don't have fun doing these videos for you guys, I probably wouldn't be doing them anymore. So that would be, uh, I don't want to. I don't want to go that route. I really don't. So I prefer just uh, ramble on and rip some packs as well. Uh, and if you guys really hate me, just just mute it. Just mute it or don't watch. That's the other option. <laughs> oh, we're going down the negative road. We don't. Oh, let's go, baby, Dirk Nowitzki. So we are getting a German legend, but it's not. Detlef Schrempf, it is Dirk, and it is an 84 throwback, and look at that just full, full head of luscious hair that Dirk Nowitzki possessed back in the day. Look at that, man. That is a young lad, young lad Dirk Nowitzki card. Wow, that's actually a pretty rare pull. I never pulled this card. It's probably not worth a lot, but I've maybe pulled him once. In all these hundreds and thousands I don't know how many packs we've, we've, uh, we've opened um, I wonder if there's analytics for that I wonder if NBA Live Mobile or EA Sports can track how many packs a user has opened because we gotta be we gotta be in the tens of thousands at this point I would think guys every day every single day we do this here but we haven't gotten a single collectible or the Deathless Shrimp card which is in packs so Perhaps I was wrong. Perhaps that didn't give us the best chance. But out of all these packs in the store right now, I don't know which pack would give us a better chance at pulling a, a legend here. I mean, it's probably a wash. Let's open some Western Conference uh, playoff packs maybe. A lot of dirt cards. Oops, no, we don't want to use cash. I was really open for a legendary bundle when I saw the legends come out, but it <laughs> wasn't to be. Kyle Lowry, Paul Pierce, the truth. He's been around from LA, from, I think he's from South Central actually. JaVale McGee, my boy! Shacting a fool. <coughs> he actually had a pretty big impact in the game against the Blazers, so um, JaVale McGee, man, he's coming around. I gotta give him props. He's kind of re resurrected his career. Granted, he's playing on an all-time great team, so that helps, you know what I mean? You got people just lobbing it up to him. He's got that vertical spacing going on. Yeah, these Eastern playoff packs are not the bee's knees because I don't see us pulling any kind of legend stuff either in those or in the pro packs. I didn't even see what was in that pack, but it didn't look like a collectible at all. Come on. So the odd thing, oh, there we go. Al Farouk Amino playoff card. The odd thing is that, that the Al Houston cards are in the auction house. No that left shrimp stuff. So there's actually people that have pulled enough collectibles or bought enough collectibles to complete the set, which is pretty surprising to me, to be honest with you. Because uh, usually it's the card that's in the packs that's probably the more common one in the auction house right off the bat. And I'm a little disappointed, guys. We're uh, quite a few coins in here and haven't pulled any, 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 any legend collectibles. None. As this video drags on here, Try not to keep you guys too long, but most likely with all the stuff going on in my life right now, um, this will be the only video today, unfortunately. I'm going to try to do one more. Paul George, let's go. PG-13, uh, but most likely with all the other stuff I got to do, this might be the only video, but I also got to work on the pack war, so there we go. That's going to be dope, and that will probably be a double upload day when, when the pack wars uh, does come out, so that'll be nice. But nothing yet. I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm trying my darnest. Terrence Ross, he's a Portland native. Born in Portland, Oregon. I think he went to high school in Portland, Oregon as well. See, it always wraps around back to me. Me, 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 me. Portland, Germany. <laughs> anyways, anyways. Well, let's do like a few more of these. And I don't know what to tell you guys. I tried. 
I tried to get that death left. Death left shrimp impact Draymond money money green. We don't want that. We don't want no warrior stuff. We we don't we really don't want any warrior stuff. Where's all the blazer goods? Granted, we only have one base elite on our team, but uh, still, still, give him to us. Come on now. That left shrimp. Actually, I was surprised they made it at Indiana Pacers. Um, throwback. But I guess the, these are playoff themed, or not throwback legends, but they are uh, playoff themed legends. And I guess he scored 26 points in a in a must win uh, playoff game. And that's that's what this card is based around. So. I think most people remember that left shrimp for his years in uh, in Seattle with Gary Payton and uh, Sean Kemp. They had some, they had a pretty great team back in the day. They even went to the NBA Finals and lost to Mr. Michael Jordan. You guys may have heard of him, uh, but yeah, they had a pretty good team back in the day. I think Nate McMillan was on that team as well. Old school guys. I'm dating. I'm dating myself here. But uh, let's do five more packs here, and if we don't clutch it out, it's going to be a bummer. But we did get Steph! We did get Steph Curry. You don't pull him every day, you know what I mean? He's actually still pretty rare, and he's probably still going for around 200k, so that's nice, actually. nice, pre Pretty nice pull. We'll get some of our points back. Uh, but it doesn't look like Detlef wants to be on our team right now, but we get another DeAndre Jordan here. And double Luke Babbitt, man. Two different images of Luke. Both of them look intense. Like he's really going for it. Uh, DeAndre Jordan. Uh, but yeah, the, the thing about it, I didn't really want to burn any more cash on bundles. Oh, double it. Two elites back to back. And three Luke Babbitts out of two packs. Kyrie. Mr. Kyrie Irving. So these pro packs are actually pretty lit right now. Uh, I haven't ripped any pro packs in so long. I don't even know. The only time I usually ever do is when we're streaming, you know what I mean? Just to pass time, talk to you guys, read the chat. I'll rip some pro packs, but um, they're actually pretty pretty hot right now. A lot of elite stuff in them. Uh, mostly base elites. There we go, another John Wall here. Wow, how many elites have we pulled now? Quite a few. Quite a few. At least six, probably? Six elites? Can we keep it going? No death left shrimp, though. None. Not even an Allen Houston collectible. Not even a one. That is a bummer. Super bummer. That was kind of the challenge. Can we pull? Oh, let's go. A playoff elite. Tony Parker. He's going to come in handy. Wow, I can't stop now, guys. I think we've really ramped it up. I can't stop now. A lot of elite stuff here. A lot of red paint. LaMarcus Aldridge. I tell you what. I, at first, when he left my Blazers... I was uh, pretty disappointed, obviously. Uh, he was one of our best players. I'm not going to say he was the best player, because I still think even then, Dame was the better player. Uh, but I was pretty bummed out. Now, two years two years, uh, you know, move, removed from the situation, I'm kind of happy he's not on the Blaze anymore. I honestly don't think he's a Bright Lights player. He kind of fades away in games. Uh, he'll start out hot in the first quarter. He's phenomenal. One of the best mid-range shooters in the game if not the best i mean he is pretty darn great especially for a uh, six foot eleven guy you know what i mean but he just seems to just fade away towards the end of the game he just uh i don't know i wouldn't give him i wouldn't give him the last shot of the game and uh hope that he would make it i don't know i just i don't know i don't know if he has it i don't think he's a bright light player so enjoy him san antonio now Kawhi leonard is a bright light player. Steven Adams, who late, who laid the lumber on Patrick Beverly the other night. That was crazy. Did you guys see that? I saw a tweet that just said, the moment when Patrick Beverly died. And it looked like it. It looked like it. I thought he wasn't going to get up. And, and he did, man. Kudos to him for being uh, as tough as he is, man. He got right back up. It's like, geez, bro. He ran into a wall. Absolute wall. Dwight Howard, speaking of a wall. But yeah, so now they've cooled off, guys. I think I'm going to wrap this video off. Uh, video up. It's been too long. Goran Dragic throwback. It's been already too long. We really tried to get that dead left. Couldn't pull it out for you guys. Unfortunately. Bummer. d Wade, The aforementioned d Wade, who is pouncing on his opponents right now. Um, he got rejected by the Rem in game one. Did you guys see that? That was kind of funny. Not, not a spring chicken anymore. You know what I mean? Bam. 
we got Mike Miller. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it, guys. I'm going to rip some more Pro Packs here. Hopefully, I can get them, but um, I'm going to wrap up the video so it's not too long. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Uh, we tried our best here to get the Detlef Shrimp, but couldn't quite do it. If you do enjoy these daily pack openings, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button. I appreciate all you guys. I read all the comments. And I look forward to hearing from you guys. Until next time, I am out. Mahalo.